Hello and or welcome back everybody to another tips video. I'm going to give you 28 easy, random and simple tips to make your Stardew Valley game even better. And unlike my other videos, I am not going to take two minutes to get to the first tip. So let's go. Passing out is actually no worries. Uh, you still wake up at the same time, you still get full health and you can really maximize your day. If you want to buy things in a hurry, shift click for plus five instead of buying one at a time. You can move your chest around easily without unloading it. You just have to make sure that you have an empty spot in your first row, select that spot and make sure you're not using a tool and then you can just move it around as you please. Plant cauliflower, melon and pumpkin seeds in groups of nine, especially before you have sprinklers because there's a chance that they will grow into a mega crop and it will give you almost double of what you would have harvested otherwise. If you're running low on food and money, you can go to the spa after summer the third on your first year to regain free energy in the spa but just know it does take up some of your time the perfect way to upgrade your watering can is to water all your crops on a sunny day where you've already checked that the next day is going to rain make sure there's no festivals in between as well then give your watering can to clint the following day it will obviously rain so you don't have to worry about watering your crops and then the next day after that you can pick up your watering can and water your crops again if it's not raining on that third day. Don't cut down all your trees because you can have an infinitely growing forest on your farm and it comes in really handy later. If you find a fancy item which has a purple background it just means that it is a higher valued item and that it sells for more than 500 gold. Utilize other areas such as the desert or the space above your farm to plant trees. You can make an entire grove worth of tappers and it frees up space on your farm. Craft tappers as soon as possible, at least three and put one on each type of tree. Oak, maple, pine. If you're planning on getting kegs later, which you probably should, Put a few extra tappers on the oak trees because you're going to need a lot of oak resin. For the seed maker, you will put in one crop and you will get one to three seeds back out of it. Also, if you've given an ancient seed to Gunther, you can also get a small chance for ancient seeds or mixed seeds. If you ever get a quest from Clint where he requires ore, you can actually just buy the ore from him and then give it to him and then the quest is completed in two seconds. Truffles only disappear at the end of the season, so you don't really have to worry about them, but make sure on the last day of spring, summer, fall, that you collect them all so you don't lose out on that money. If you need to buy anything from Clint, make sure you don't upgrade your trash can because it actually counts as a tool upgrade and you can't buy anything from Clint while he has a tool or a trash can in his possession. You can put hats on your children and your horse so you can utilize more than just one hat at a time. It's a good idea to plant a really cheap crop, the most common one being wheat, at the end of seasons because it's actually very time effective to just let them die and scythe them away because your crops will stay watered and tilled and it will just save you a ton of time and if you're trying to get everything planted on the first day of a season, you can get a lot more done. If you're gonna move your crystallarium or replace the gem in it, make sure you pickaxe the crystallarium so that you get the gem out first, otherwise you might lose it. If you are needing more loot for certain recipes and crafting materials, try to find the burglar ring because that will actually cause enemies to drop more of their loot so you can collect it a lot quicker. If you want your honey to be worth way more, Plant your bee houses around flowers. You have a five space radius where your honey will actually turn into a specialized honey that is worth way more. The best being the fairy rose that you can obtain in fall. It will make fairy rose honey and it is worth a lot of money. Just make sure you're not more than five spaces away because then you're just gonna get regular honey. Put your first dino egg in the incubator instead of donating it to Gunther because then you can grow your very own little dinosaur and have infinite eggs to donate and sell. Those little bubbly sparkly fishing spots are not just for decoration. You can catch way more fish because the bite rate is increased and that will help you catch way more fish than you otherwise could have in that time frame. You can buy Deluxe Speed Grow from Pierre for 150 gold which 
really helps with those longer grow time crops but if you just wait until you can buy them from Sandy, she sells them for almost half the price. Don't forget about the Kroba shop because he really carries a lot of good stock and some rotating stock that's really useful like Iridium Sprinklers and every day he will sell 10 Solar Essence and 10 Void Essence which is really helpful for some of your crafting needs. I'm sure you've heard about the Stardew Valley Wiki at this point, but if you haven't, it is a great resource. But one that I want to point out today is this profit chart. So if you go into this profit chart, you can actually see what crops are really worthwhile to grow in each season. And that will help you plan out each season, especially before you have learned all the crops in this game. Tickets to the movie theater are not only for marriage candidates. You can take anyone in Stardew Valley, which will help you grow your friendship with them very quickly. In fall, there's a small chance that your trees will turn into a mushroom tree. There's about a 1% chance that your trees will turn into a mushroom tree overnight. So make sure that you have lots of trees planted. And then after that, it can spread out and grow other mushroom trees, just like any regular tree. There are two really good places to get fiber. The first is in the small cave in the sewer. There is tons of fiber that you can collect every day and then the other one is floor 81 in the mines the reason it's floor 81 is because every time you leave the mines and go back in the floors reset floor 81 for some reason just always has some fiber so you can keep taking the elevator to floor 80 go right down to floor 81 and collect some fiber and keep doing that sometimes i could get like 100 to 200 in just a short amount of time which is really helpful you can't use sprinklers in the sand so make sure you plan out properly where you're going to plant your crops and utilize sprinklers so you don't make this mistake like i did and just like that that's all 28 tips thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something new today if you want more tips check out these videos here and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next tips video see you later